Hey guys, it's Jeannie and today I wanted to talk about a very important step in your makeup routine that I think some first time makeup users or um, newbies skip. But it's a very quick, easy step and it adds so much depth and dimension to your face and really uh, makes those features that you want to accentuate pop. And that is contouring. So today I want to show you how I contour in my makeup routine and um, I'm going to show you using my favorite product which is the e.l.f. Contour and, excuse me, Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder. And this is um, a little dual palette and it has the blush as well as the bronzing. And as you can see, I've already hit pan on the blush because it's one of my favorite colors. It's a nice peachy uh, blush and it goes really well with my fair skin tone. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how I contour my face. So first I like to use the e.l.f. Professionals bronzing brush and it's just a slanted brush and it's really great for getting into the hollows of the cheek along the jawline and down the sides of the nose all main parts of the face that I like to contour as well as the forehead just because I have a rather large forehead I think Tyra Banks calls it a five head I have a five head so let's get started this is a fairly dark shade and I find that it works really well with my fair skin tone if I just lightly dab it and tap off the excess. Now if you have a heavier hand it's going to be a darker contour so be careful. So I'm just going to kind of suck in my cheeks and then just follow the hollows of my cheeks. That way it's going to make this cheekbone really pop. It's going to create a shadow through here so it's going to really brighten up that cheekbone. And then what we're going to do is kind of create a shape of a three on our face and I'll show you what I mean by that. We're going to go from the forehead in here and then down here. And what that's doing is it's really giving that jawline a shadow underneath and really making that jawline pop because that's what you want. You want to have a nice prominent jawline and cheekbone. It really gives that face some depth and some contour. So I'm just going to keep doing that. And then I always like to go down on my neck just a little bit. Now contouring I really love because on days when I feel a little bit bloated and let's face it as women we all have those days. It kind of makes me feel like my face is really um, a little bit thinner, a little bit more chiseled if you will. All right, now we're just going to do the other side. Now you don't have to do the suck in fish face, but I find, especially if you're a first time person using contour or new to makeup, it kind of helps you find the hollow of your cheek. So it makes it a little bit easier. That's the only reason. Now, also to hide a double chin. Now we can't get rid of it completely, but we can hide it by contouring along the chin and jawline. And like I said earlier, that kind of gives the illusion of a shadow, so it kind of masks that double chin a little bit and just makes your chin a little bit more pronounced. Kind of like in the way highlighting brings light to the areas that you want to feature, like the bridge of your nose and the cheekbone, it really brings it out. Contouring does kind of the same thing, but in the opposite way. It creates a shadow right around that thing that you really want to show. So we're putting it in the hollows of our cheeks to really showcase our cheekbone. We're putting it along the jawline and under the chin to really showcase our chin, not what's underneath it. Now we're going to take it and we're going to run it along just the sides of our nose to just kind of give shape to the nose. So I'm just going to make sure everything's nice and blended. Because remember, if it's, if it's there and it's really noticeable, it kind of defeats the purpose. So you really want to blend it out to make sure that it's just very flawless and it just gives great shape to the face. So as you can see now, my face is contoured. My cheekbones are more prominent. Um, I've kind of shaded in that five head and I've taken care of that double chin as well. Uh, that does it, so that's how I contour my face on a daily basis. Very quick and easy step to your makeup routine, but makes a really big impact on the face. Okay guys, I'll see you next time, bye.